The way we teach our medical students, the way we teach our surgeons, that's what SIU is all about. From that trickles down so much more that leads to great patient care, to further research, to uh, improving the future uh, of medicine. SIU has all kinds of research going on. As a matter of fact, I would say that we, we are moving really forward in what we call translational research, which includes research on the bench with molecules, moving through research at the bedside with patients and in the clinics and then out into the community to build better systems of care. We have a Center for Clinical Research that is doing projects that span all that we do at SIU Medicine. Uh, almost any condition that you can think of, we actually are enrolling uh, patients in studies. We're determining new models uh, to move out into the community and determining exactly what the community needs so that we can apply what we've learned in those other arenas to give our patients, to give the people to whom we're accountable the best care they can possibly get. The mission of the medical school here is to advance patient care and you can't do that without doing research. You know, one of the great things about working here is not only are we advancing medical science, we are at the same time advancing healthcare in general. Sometimes I'm a patient. When I, when I go to a physician, I do a little background on them. I want to know where they went to medical school. I want to know where they did their residencies. And I want to know what they're doing when they're not in that room with me. So if they're doing research, then I'm automatically assuming that they've got answers to questions that other physicians do not. And I definitely think that impacts you know, patient care in general. In the case that uh, I was involved, the one with the botulinum toxin, Botox, to improve the blood supply in patients that had poor vascularity to the fingers. And now it led to another finding. It actually got rid of their pain in their hands. So now we're trying to investigate, well, how does that happen? So we go back to the lab. Once we figure that out, maybe we'll find something not injections where you can inject Botox, but we find a molecule that they can take orally by, as a pill. Well, that's kind of fun. And that's where this whole circle of science comes in. So in 100 years, we better be doing something different than what we're doing now. And what it takes is the experienced surgeon or physician with medical students and residents and researchers working together to improve the quality care.